Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we're going, Braden. All right. Oh yeah. Well, I was, I was, th- I was writing your name down. I was like, Patrick's one of those names that has like a ton of nicknames. I feel like. Yeah. Is that is that yeah, accurate not, at all? Yeah. I get called Pat, Patrick, Patty Cake. That one I fucking really don't like, but I wrote down. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it. I wrote down yeah. Patty Daddy. Yeah, Patty. I've had that one before. I get called. All my uncles call me Patricia, which kind of pisses me off. But it's all right. <laughs> Sounds like an uncle thing. Yeah, definitely. Honestly. Yeah, fitting, fitting. Yeah. You know, what you could go by what Rick. Rick. Uh, I have a couple <laughs> buddies, like, you know, you remember that SpongeBob episode, like, where they're fighting, like, he races half his name. Did you ever see that? You ever uh, no, Bob no. As a kid? I, I watched a little bit, but yeah, I don't no, remember that episode. There's one that he races, like, half the pad off his name. He's like, my name's not Rick. Yeah. Oh, really? But no, a whole bunch of my buddies call me Rick from that. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's yeah. funny. I just like how it's, like, a combination of, like, two simple names. Yeah. And, like, you kind of get the option, but nobody ever goes by Rick. Yeah, that is weird. I never thought about that <laughs> before. Yeah. I guess it's just, like, the starter one. Yeah. I was I had two friends over one day, and I was, like, and they were both named Patrick. Yeah. And I'm, like, all right, we you guys got to decide who's Patrick and, or, like, who's Pat and who's Rick. I guess you guys yeah. got to duke it out for it. <laughs> yeah, there can't be two. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's, with my name, I'm never really... I always go by Pat usually, but at work for some reason I've always gone by Patrick. Uh-huh. Like if I like comfortable with a the person, they eventually start calling me Pat. But I'm usually never like call me Pat. Okay, like, yeah. Someone's like they always start calling me Patrick. You just kind of go with it. Absolutely, yeah, like, absolutely. And, yeah. yeah, I feel like you gotta you gotta kind of let them just choose. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because no one no one that named Patrick doesn't want to be called Pat. Like usually everyone does. A shorter name's better. Absolutely. Yeah. Like if you were to get like mad about how somebody else is yeah, calling you, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Like it's yeah, kind of like the, ball. the same thing as like uh. I don't know, somebody spelling your name wrong, or not remembering your name, like, yeah. e- either one of those, like, I'm like, who cares? Like, yeah, I honestly am so bad about that, though, because I, I feel like most of the time when I go out and, like, meet new people, it's mm-hmm. like when we all go out and stuff like that, you know, uh-huh. and, like, once once you get a couple beers in, you aren't going to remember someone's name, and I'll meet them the next time. I hate it when they remember mine, too, Them I'm just like, hey, like, how are you doing, man? What's up, buddy? Like, <laughs> I hate that. Man, bro, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah guy. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, yeah. I I feel like I feel like everybody's kind of on that same page though. Yeah. It's but like still it's like a it's still like you never want to say or or ask them their name. It's like uh I don't know what it is. Like yeah. everybody's kind of ever nobody really cares, at least most people yeah. don't really care, but at the same time like nobody ever wants to ask. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, I think one of the best ways to do too is be like, "What's your name?" Like, if you like, you don't remember your name, like, no, your last name. Like, I remember your first name, and they usually just say it. And you're like, oh, oh. Yeah. that one usually works. Or like IDs, yeah. Like, hey, let me see your ID thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, all the creative ways just to avoid asking the question. Yeah. No, dude, I gotta <laughs> speaking of IDs, I actually gotta go get a new bear pass. I've been having to go to the gym oh, like, no every way. time. They have to like sign me in. It's like twenty bucks, right? Yeah, but that kind of sucks. It's twenty bucks, you know. Like, right just, before graduation, yeah. Too. I, no, I'm leaving here in March. Like, I only have a couple weeks left. Yeah, and I don't want to go spend twenty five bucks, but I'm probably going to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, how do you sign in then? You just go to the front counter, and I just like tell them my name. They type it into the computer, and I just go through the gate. So oh, I, can't, I don't okay. have to swipe through. Good. Yeah. So, and I guess like any like PSU dollars or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, I haven't used those probably since sophomore year. Okay, yeah. I don't know if you still got those. No, I probably should, honestly. You can just affirm to your account, right? Yeah. yeah. I may, I may honestly, well, I guess I have to go get a new bear pass to do that. <laughs> yeah. No, it sucks when you go to the bars, too, and like trying to, I've had to pay, like, the, oh, you know, like, yeah. You, know, like, you have to show your ID to get free cover. Uh huh. Yeah. And I don't have it, so I've been having to pay every place I go, and that oh, sucks. Yeah. That sucks. Honestly, it's kind of worth it, because I guess that would save me about the 25 bucks for a uh-huh. lot. Yeah. That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah. And, and you should get it just to have your college ID I get, 20 you, years from now. Oh, dude. And that, <laughs> and that helps so much. I feel like even when we're out of college, like, they don't have a date on it, so you never know. And, like, there's so many student discounts and stuff. You'd be like, oh, yeah, it's still bad. Oh, yeah. I never thought about that. Yeah. Like, going to get, like, what? who's the one that has the ice cream deal? You know, I'm talking about on Fridays or something like that. I'm not, I'm not familiar to be uh, honest. I know Cold Stone. I think it may be Cold Stone, but it's uh-huh. like, yeah, they had, like, like five dollar ice cream or something like that, or like the movies are five bucks, like just shit like that. Stay scheming, yeah, Stay scheming. exactly. Yeah, got I like you. where your head's yeah. at. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. What are you drinking, dude? This is actually this is, <laughs> um, I'm like really open minded with like trying new drinks or ju- yeah. new like uh, like I guess food combinations yeah. or anything combination. So uh, and I usually like I usually like kind of take on the resilience to like deal with it and just stick it out whatever I, yeah, whatever i decide gross, to make like, you know i made it like i'm gonna do it yeah. <laughs> have you ever done that with like a smoothie oh absolutely yeah yeah just throwing random things into yeah. a smoothie 
But uh, yeah, so I, I made coffee, black coffee, and then uh, I have some girls staying with me right now. Yeah. So I uh, like visiting me, I guess you'd say. Yeah. But uh, they had some mio sitting out, and I'm uh, like, dude. I'm like, do you care if I have some put this great <laughs> mio in my coffee? And they're like, yeah, go for it. Yeah, so like, I tried it. It's actually, you want to try some? I'll try some. It's it's uh, I, I don't know what I I like it more than black coffee. It's like sweet. That was honestly way better than I thought it was gonna be. Same, yeah. same. Yeah, it was kind of like like I'm like okay, this is gonna suck, but I'm still gonna do it just yeah. because why not? No, dude. Honestly, I've been I drink quite a bit of mio. Like okay, yeah. Like I I used to drink a lot of soda, which like I I have a Powerade right now. But I used to go to the gas station and buy like a soda a day. You know. Okay. Yeah. And after a yeah. while, I was like, damn, like it's only one dollar, but I'm still spending this dollar on something that's not that good for me. You know. True. True. Yeah. No, I need to start doing that more though too. I'm I'm really bad about like going to restaurants and I just get the same thing over and over again. I'm the same way, and I yeah. say that. Yeah, I need it. Like I guess with drinks, I I mix it up quite a bit, but eating, I, the yeah, same thing over and over. I guess like it, it's like you found what you like, you found what's good. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm like, let me get a buffalo chicken wrap. Can I get hot wings? Like it just always stuff like that. It's one that. of my go-to's yeah. as well. Yeah, it's I mean, because it's never bad. Like people are always gonna like that. True. Yeah. Well, at least it's better than like the the classic like chicken strips. Mm-hmm. Like, have you ever met one of those people that yeah. they? It was more of like a kid. It was like no, your friend yeah. growing up yeah. back in I was like, like elementary that for a school. While. Really? Yeah. No, my mom used to like. I remember the first time I had like fried fish. Your mom was like, "Oh, just chicken strips." I'm like, oh, "Okay, I can eat this." There you go. There yeah. you go. And you found it. You yeah. found found your meal for the next twenty years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, how was your workout, Tom? Oh yeah, today was good. Me and Mateo went to the gym. We did legs, so we squatted, and then we didn't. We did straight leg deadlifts after for a while. Okay. Yeah, and then just lunges around the track, which that sucked. That was uh-huh. like that was more or less cardio right there. But yeah. The cool thing about like legs is you can get your weight up so much. Oh yeah, I no, like that. Yeah, no, especially working out with him. He that dude put, tosses around some heavy weights. Really? So, yeah, I always try to keep up, but it's hard. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah to have somebody stronger than you working out with. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, no, dude. I think we're gonna start wrestling all the time too. We were talking about today and start doing that for cardio. Like he, oh, he was, that's a, sick. Yeah, he was a real good wrestler. If you ever want to come, uh, I think it's Hammonds had just an opening wrestling mat there. Yes, yeah, yes, no I've been there. there. Yeah. No, but yeah, we're gonna start doing that, and he knows what he's doing. So, I mean, dude, honestly, yeah. I would totally be down. Yeah. I would totally be down. No, like, yeah, I really like. I've always been decent at wrestling my friends, but like, I have no idea how to like actually wrestle. Absolutely, you know? and yeah. even like just like like from going from like complete novice, like nothing, yeah. like blank sheet, to uh, like learning like for like yeah, just like, a few sessions, like oh, you, yeah. you'd learn a ton. Oh yeah, dude, just like just do single leg, double leg, just stuff like that. Like I don't know, like. I, I, I'd probably figure it out, like, if I had to, but I don't know, like, how to really, like, shoot on somebody that well, you know? Absolutely. Like, like no one's ever really, like, showed me, like, like took him the time to do that. Yeah, so it'll be fun. No, we all got to go do it, dude. I'm down. I'm yeah. down. That shit wears you out, though, dude. You're, like, five minutes in. You're just yes. Like, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it's, like, a different kind of, like, workout. Yeah. Like, a different kind of cardio, almost. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I did, uh, I got really into jiu-jitsu for a summer. Dude, that stuff's badass. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Learn how to fight off your back. That'd be, yeah, I've always wanted to do that. I have, a, I have a couple buddies that are, like, training to do, like, UFC stuff, you know, like, it's all my ones that are in the Marines. Oh, good for them. Yeah. But no, he, he, he seems to like it a lot. He's constantly learning shit. That's cool. Yeah, and it's cool. You can be, like, such a little guy, too, and, like, it'll be, like, a t- I actually watched this video the other day. This guy was, like, pretending to be homeless, uh-huh. you know, and, and uh, he had, like, one of those signs that said, like, if you can take me down. I'll give you a thousand bucks. And like, there's like these three big ass dudes that came up, were like shit talking them, you know? And they all tried wrestling them. And he literally just fucked all three of them up. No way. Yeah. Like, he's probably like a 160 pound dude. And these dudes are all probably like 260. No yeah, way. Yeah. He literally just like tossing them on the ground and shit. Yeah. Wait, wait. He's he's a homeless dude? Just as no, like he, a sign? He was just, it was like for like a prank video or whatever. Okay, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Honestly, I thought that was kind of a, like, I, I, I saw, I've seen two of it. It's like the same guy. Like, he just had a sign, like, sitting around on, like, a campus. Uh-huh. Saying like to take me down, I'll give you a hundred bucks. But this one's like, what homeless guy would have that sign? Like it's really not that real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, dude, I I don't want to hurt you. Like, yeah, you, you like, got yeah. you probably have enough going like, you're on. Not, if you're homeless, you don't have a thousand bucks. Yeah, it, it, I'll help you out. I'm not gonna yeah. try to hurt you. Yeah, no shit. No, it's a it, that's like a great moment though to witness for yeah. for anybody to see like a. To see some really arrogant guy who's like oh, really, dude, yeah. especially like the ones that are really arrogant but yeah. just huge. Yeah, they're like, I'm bigger than you. I'm gonna beat your ass. Exactly. Yeah. And then some dude that's like 140 just yeah. messes them up. That's now, awesome. Now, do you know who Garrett Armfield is? I don't know. Oh, he goes to our school. He's doing like MMA stuff like that, like UFC, and he's actually really, really good. And he, oh no yeah, way. He, I'm pretty sure he's about probably like 150, but he's a strong ass dude too. And really, it's really good. I think he'll probably like make it the whole way. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that that'd be sick to know, like yeah. have somebody here at Most State. Yeah, no, he went to uh, Eureka. Okay, absolutely, like, yeah, so absolutely. Like, yeah. 
Oh wow, that's wild. Yeah, no, Good that's cool. Him. Yeah, is he is he our age or he's our age? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. What'd you do at the gym today? Uh, just a quick chest workout. Really? Yeah. Yeah. All of our workouts have been pretty quick too. We're on like a six week program. Uh huh. And yeah, we just kind of go in maybe forty five minutes an hour and we're out. Yeah. Sometimes just like time. It's just yeah. like The time commitment. You know. Yeah. I don't. I don't get why some people go in there though for like two or three hours. Like I just can't do that. Yeah. I don't get that either. That's yeah. just a waste of day. Yeah. I feel like me be, too being like a like a lankier dude. Uh huh. Like, if I go in there that long, I'm not like I'd have to eat so much to get. That's bigger. a good point. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like that's I, what my yeah, that's what my roommate does. He goes like yeah. two hours a night. I'm just like, I mean, I respect oh, Mike, it. Yeah, yeah no, I see yeah. him there all the time. Me and Mateo have worked out with him a couple times. Oh no way. Yeah, I mean, he's a strong guy. Oh, but I, dude, yeah, that's one of the guys I've seen. Never had like so much just brute natural strength. Yeah, good point. Yeah, he can yeah. really just like grab stuff off the ground. He's like, it's a primal, just picks it straight up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of reminds me of a gorilla. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's a big old boy. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. So I was I was gonna ask you something like specifically on lifting. Uh, how do you personally deal with like so, uh, with plateauing, because I, I kind of, like, I was trying to get, like, more pull-ups going. Yeah. And I kind of realized I got to a point where I think I got, I think I got up to 15, and then it went back down to, like, 10 or 12. Yeah. And I, honestly, I just, I don't, I struggle to get beyond that point. So, I mean, honestly, people switch stuffs up. You could do, like, lat pull-down or something like that for a while. But, honestly, everything that me and my roommate do, we'll just get on, like, a strength training program. Like, there's okay. online. I can send you a couple, too. There's one that's, like, Johnny Candido's, like, six-week program. And, like, you put all your maxes in. Like, say you could put, like, pull-up as your workout. And you uh-huh. put as how many as you can do. Oh, so it's personalized. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Like, so, like, our, what we usually do is always just squat, bench, and deadlift, you know. But we put our maxes in. And then it gives you the numbers that you have to hit and the reps each day. That's so like, you're, like there's no guessing, you know, if you like most people, though, the problem is everyone goes in there and tries to lift as much weight as they can. Uh-huh. Yeah. But if you go in there and you actually follow it and don't like, like dick off from the program, you will get stronger. Like each time we've done it, like I've probably put 150 pounds to like my deadlift since I came to college. You were about to say weight. Yeah. I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, no, but, yeah, I'm way above that. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's crazy. Like, like each time we do it, I mean, it'll go up by like 20 pounds. You're just like, oh wow, like let's just keep doing this. That's like, awesome. It's worth it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. All the little. That's the cool thing about fitness is like, it's so. Uh, I feel like it's really ambiguous. Like meaning, like like there's this interpretation of how how to yeah. do it. There's this interpretation. Oh, then you get to yeah. kind of try and see what Dude, works, yeah. what fits, what doesn't. Yeah, there's so many different people that like follow different like nutrition stuff too, like all the different diets. True. I just kind of eat whatever I want to eat. Yeah, that's how, yeah. I, that's how I am yeah. too. Honestly, I force feed a lot of times. Like I'll sit down like make a thing, a hamburger helper, just eat all of it. And I'm like, okay, I'm good for a couple but, hours. Oh, so, so like yeah. force feed like in the aspect of uh, – I just eat as much as I can at one point and then uh-huh. I wait till I'm hung- like hung- – I don't like plan out my meals or meal prep, which okay, I probably should. Yeah. You know, like that probably – Help, but no, I, I just kind of make a big meal at once. With the intended goal of gaining weight? Yeah. Okay, totally. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm the same way. I've done that with like peanut butter. I'll just oh, like, dude, that's the scoop best. Scoop it down. Simple fats, yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, I honestly, when I get at night, I will take a protein bar a lot uh-huh. of time or like a granola bar and just put peanut butter on the top of it. And I'll make like five of those and drink with a glass of milk. And you're like, wow, like that, that was a lot of calories right there. That is, yeah, that's that. a fair amount. Now, have you ever done that though with peanut butter and a granola bar? No, no. Dude, try it. It's honestly really, really? good. Just like yeah. your basic, like normal. Uh, granola bar yeah dude there's like a chocolate chip one it's honestly really good that does sound good yeah, I, yeah. I like i like anything chocolate and, no, and peanut butter that's yeah. a good combo no, my high school baseball coach told me about that uh-huh yeah no it was yeah he made all of us do it but a lot of the kids got bigger i was skinny until uh-huh. probably last year yeah. i did used to have these like chocolate covered peanut uh, like wait the, the granola chi- bars the covered in chocolate yeah they're called no yes. those things are yes. gas dude i yes. love those yeah. those are great yeah. those are great yeah no, I really don't get too into depth with all that. I just kind of follow lifting programs, and that's really about it. That's what I try to just take it on a daily basis. I'm yeah. like, like meal to meal, I'm like, like if I, if for example, if I'm eating kind of shittier, like uh, I don't know, say I'm having like a, a frozen pizza or something, yeah. or I'm having something like that, then I'm just like, okay, well, this is this is one meal, and then like that's kind of in the back of my head the next few meals. It's like okay, yeah. I, I ate bad that time. I I just feel like I don't know. I don't. I I went the route, and I don't know if you've ever done this before, but I've gone the route. Back in high school specifically, where I was like all about my meals, all about the uh, prep, yeah. all about like lifting. And I got way more results. I will I will admit that. Yeah, but, like, you probably just looked better, you know, just shredded the whole time. Yes, know? yes. Like it, it was definitely, it was the, the strongest and all that that I've. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Because now it's been like consistent, like years of, of still lifting pretty frequently. So I, yeah. I don't know. But I saw more like short-term results. But I, I wasn't like, 
I don't know. I, it was like too much discipline to the yeah. point that I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to keep working out. It's a good thing, but like not get so into it. And yeah. Just, just chill a little bit. Now, dude, I definitely, I, I used to try to be good about what I eat, but honestly, now they're just whatever I want to eat. I honestly, I eat fast food way too much than I should. Like there was a day I, I went out on Wednesday, Thursday morning. I have to work. I actually, have class and I have work. And I think I had that whole entire day because I went and met up with Matea after when he went to the gym. I had four McChickens and two McDoubles, and that's all I ate that day. I was like, holy shit, I just ate McDonald's for fucking <laughs> the whole entire day. Like, this can't be good for me. Yeah. Are the McChickens bad for you? I, I don't know much I, about them. I'm sure they are good. Yeah, I'm sure, honestly, I'm sure you don't really get much nutrition out of them. I'm sure he just kind of passes through you. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I know there's some stuff in McDonald's bread that's kind of scary. It's like, really? it's literally outlawed in every country except the yeah. United States, but it's like, I I don't want to like Chick Fil A has it too. I think Burger King. Hmm. I, it's like something. I don't want to say rubber, but it was it was no, yeah, whatever yeah. it was. It was gross, and I was like, "That's disgusting." No, I've definitely been to McChicken before, and like you're like you'll pull a piece out, and you're like, "What is that?" You know, yeah, it only happens every once in a while, but it uh-huh. almost feels like a little rubber piece. There's Interesting. Like, I actually saw on Snapchat. You know, there's like the stories on your explore, like when you click over to like watch people's stories, but it'll be like the ad ones that are below. I think I do know your. T- I, yeah. I don't have Snapchat personally, like, but yeah. Okay, but it was talking about Tyson chicken nuggets, uh-huh. and it was apparently they had a recall for like thirty six thousand pounds of chicken nuggets for having like rubber in it. What? Yeah, that's wow, yeah, that's disgusting. That's pretty, yeah, I don't know if it's the same like thing that's in the bread, but uh-huh. no, I actually went in, uh, to Tyson's chicken plant at one point for a no class. way, yeah. really. I had to come back before sem- this semester started. And had a one week class that counted as two credits, but we went to like all these different companies. This is for agriculture, absolutely. And uh, but I went and viewed their chicken plant, and that honestly was one of the grossest experiences I had. It wasn't like messy or anything, but I've just never seen like that many dead chickens in my life, and they're all just like going around on a rack, you know. Oh wow! Yeah. What are your What are your thoughts on like the just the mass producing meat and whatnot? You got to do it because I mean, there's so many people in the world. You know, mm-hmm. honestly, we're getting ready to run into like a food crisis in like 2050 because like if you heard about like the population that's going to just double or triple whatever it's going to crazy do. and more yeah. people are getting out of poverty. Yeah, exactly. So then they're going to start eating more meat as well. No, yeah, chicken chicken's probably the easiest animal to produce for sure. Like, really? You th- I think it's like 13 pounds. I'm, don't quote me on this because I don't know if I'm right, but it's like 13 pounds of food is how long it takes for a chicken to like get to full size before you like slaughter it. Oh wow! Yeah. But how, how long, like time wise? Oh, I think they only it's like 12 weeks or something like that. Like pretty. That's quick. it. Yeah, pretty quick. Wow. Yeah, they just get them real big and they just send them off to slaughter. Are they yeah. bad for the environment? Because I I know like uh... I've heard that before. Honestly, I don't know though. I feel oh, really? Like, I, I feel like nowadays. Everything like chickens, especially like I learned this like in school, it's, everything's vertically integrated. So Tyson okay. owns probably all the chicken plants in like southeast like Arkansas or northeast Arkansas, whatever it is. But yeah, like all the ones there, they own them all. They're all Tyson Farms. Like a farmer will own it, but Tyson's the one that gives them the guidelines or regulations. Okay. Like, yeah, and especially like nowadays too, probably with like PETA and stuff like that that are constantly like saying bad things. Uh-huh. They have to have like a certain way they do, it, especially like waste and stuff like that. Just so it doesn't affect the environment. A lot of like regulations. Yeah, and exactly. Okay. Yeah. So it's like it's very much like in like almost like a factory or just a barn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure they have like a some yeah, with the waste that comes out, it goes in the floor and then gets shipped out somewhere else. Okay, absolutely. I know a lot of actually a lot of them too, they use stuff like chicken like chicken scat as like fertilizer. Like in, Oh, no yeah. way. Oh, so there are actually some like benefits as well. I, I believe, but I don't know exactly. I mean I'm not a farmer, so I don't know how all that works. Okay, absolutely. Really. Yeah, because I, I know with like uh, like cows, they they burp and poop methane. Yeah, like methane's released. So like just having cows in general is actually bad for the environment, which yeah. is like a weird thought. No, dude, and uh, I think it's North Carolina is where a majority of like hog farms are. Oh, really? Like I don't know what the gases that come off those lagoons. You know, like how like they'll have like the, all the hogs and like the swamp areas. I'm I'm and I'm kind of imagining just like a pen, just yeah. full of mud. And oh, then, but like, yeah, pigs. just thousands and thousands of hogs. You wow, know? yeah, wow. But uh, they will take that gas and they make it into biodiesel. Now that was something else I learned on that trip. Yeah, no way. Yeah, I don't know how they did it, who figured it out, but they make biodiesel out of it. That's now, crazy. I think 
it was either Seaboard. I think it may have been Seaboard Foods is the company that has all of the. That's like a pork company. Uh huh. Yeah, but they were telling us about it when we went and interview, like walked through that place and took a tour. I was like, wow, that's crazy. That's really. Yeah, someone was that smart to figure that out. That's cool. I yeah. love like those like how. They make problems into solutions. Yeah, that is awesome. You know awesome. what I mean? Yeah. Like, everybody's looking over here like, oh, this is such a bad problem. This is such a bad problem. And then they, yeah. they literally make it a solution for something completely unrelated over yeah. here. That's awesome. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that, that – like, just thinking about, like, the – the food crisis, like the possibility of that. Yeah. Do you think it'll be like inevitable? Like you think it's like for sure going to happen? Or? Dude, honestly, like there's some people out there that are having a lot of kids, you know, like I feel like, honestly, I feel like our generation may change it though. Cause like, especially with marriages, I feel like so many marriages nowadays and in divorce, not as many people are going to be getting married. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. I feel like people are still always going to have kids, but in other countries too, that's where it's like crazy. Like India is so full, China is so full. Uh huh. Yeah. So they're eventually gonna. I'm sure they're all gonna start coming over this way. Oh yeah, that's weird to think about. Yeah. Yeah. If it, I I feel like I I would agree with that. I feel like the marriage rate amongst like, like at least in the U.S. I feel like yeah, like people millennials are, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I feel like, like we aren't gonna be doing it as much. Yeah, and having kids as much. Like yeah. I, I would guess. I I don't know. Yeah, but, like, I'm in no. I don't want to have a kid for uh-huh. a long time. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. And that might just be like us at our age, but I yeah, I, I feel like everyone says that probably. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's a. Uh, I don't. I, I'm curious to see like the marriage rates now, or like like 20 years from now versus like maybe 10 years from yeah. from now, or 10 10 uh 10 years ago. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like so, like our parents' generation versus our generation, like yeah. how many people actually get married and like how many people have kids and all that. Yeah, I know the higher the poverty rate, typically like they'll have dude. That's kids. what I'm saying. Like I feel like. Because, like, if I was going to have a kid, you know, like, I'm going to wait till I'm financially stable or totally. something like that. Like, I'm, if I had one right now, I'd be screwed, you know. Like, thank God I'd almost be done with college so I can finish it. Uh-huh. But, like, if I had one when I was, like, a freshman, I'd be in a factory somewhere working, you know. That's a like, good point. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you yeah, you should, like, go to a trailer park and, like, there's, like, uh, Tom and Sue come out with, like, 100 kids, you know. Yeah. Got, like, 15 <laughs> kids running around, yeah. Not even keeping track of yeah. them all. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. The dad doesn't even know the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is that's weird to think about. Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess it probably is because of that reason. Like yeah. it's it's a very it's a planned out thing. If yeah. like if you're gonna if you, I don't know, same thing. Like if I'm gonna have a kid, like it better be pretty fucking planned out. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it, it, that's one thing that is hard to plan for though. You know, especially if you get a wife too. Like, yeah, true. Gonna, yeah, if you guys are just banging all the time, you're like, Oh shit, well I guess we have one now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. You gotta like I don't know, like especially if she doesn't agree in abortion or like, yeah. you, or you don't personally. Yeah. Oh no, is I'm. It, I'm uh, I guess what's that? I, 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 in general. I, what's what is it? Pro life or uh, pro it? choice and pro life. I'm pro choice. If someone is having an abortion, they can have an abortion. I'm definitely yeah, pro choice as well. Yeah. Like if so, like what happens if you get knocked up by some guy that has a real bad credit score? You know, is gonna uh-huh. like run away from you and never pay for your stuff. And exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. Because it, it is a plan thing. It's yeah. a plan. Th- it's a huge part of your life. And if you're gonna, if you want to take that commitment on, then you should have the choice if you want yeah. to or not. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't get how people can do that. Dude, like if I knock somebody up, I would just own up to it. You know, if she wanted to keep, like that's her choice. You mm-hmm. know, like I'd be like, oh, like I don't want to have a kid right now, but I want to like get an abortion. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, I, I'd own up to it. Like I, I just like even if I didn't like her, you know, I'd still be a part of that kid's life and you know, like do the best I can to support it. Uh huh. Yeah. Might might be like kind of suck in the beginning. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Okay, but I'm sure I guess you're I'm, gonna be like, I made this. Like this is my kid. I'm gonna try to make it the best person I can. Good point. Yeah. Hopefully it's not like a one night stand kind of deal. Oh, yeah. dude, I couldn't <laughs> that imagine that. That would suck. That would suck. Yeah. If like someone that wasn't even hot either, you just wake up the next day. You're like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't even remember any of this. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That would suck. And here you are, nine months later, yeah. part of my life. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. I have to tell that to your kid one day too. That'd be, that'd be shitty. It's like I was drunk in college. Uh, yeah, at the I didn't bar. even know who your mom was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I had to learn her name like three months later. Yeah, <laughs> when I got a random Facebook message. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's Gibby. Yeah. Oh, dude, I was thinking about it. Uh, this this is uh, just like a random thought I was having the other day. I'm like, I'll jot this down and talk yeah. about it later. But uh, like it, I've noticed my lingo over text versus like how I how I speak. Like my dialogue is like different. It's almost like different personas. So like, uh, like I'll, I'll use like different expressions. So like, for example, I say like "hell yeah" all the time. Dude, over I'm, text. dude yeah, I, I'm not saying I'm the same way, but I never really say like "hell yeah" all the time. Person, like, yeah, someone yes. t- someone tells you like a random good thing, you're just like "hell yeah." 
Uh, hell yeah. Yeah, I know. I do the same thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, I, I think you even, like, you're like, I'm on my way. I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the same thing. But I would never say that, like, if we were on the phone. I wouldn't, like, like, I'm on the way. I'd be like, okay, see you in a little bit. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's weird to think because, like, all these different platforms that we have to communicate, it's yeah. like, like, there are, like, little nuances in how we actually communicate. Mm-hmm. There's, like, a base core. But then, uh, like, even, like, a podcast versus, like, if we were talking, right? Like, uh, say me and you were sitting around watching TV. Like, we're, yeah. are, we're probably going to talk differently and, and, I don't know, it's just different. We're probably going to communicate a little bit differently yeah. than we would, like, sitting there watching TV. But we're still in, like, a, I don't know, like, face-to-face, like, yeah. open dialogue structure. Yeah, no, I feel, yeah, I feel like if we were sitting there watching TV, it wouldn't be, like, disengaged, you know, yeah. like, having, like, a real conversation. That's that's what I like about this, though. Yeah. Is, like, this is the main event. It's like, yo, like, we're, we're committed to just talking right now. No, me, like, that's why I was so excited to do this. Me and my roommate lately, like, we'll be coming home drunk from the bars, you know, and we'll be sitting there at 2 o'clock in the morning, and then we'll start having, like, real long conversations. We've been talking about, like, some, like, weird shit, you know? Uh-huh. And, like, just about, like, artificial intelligence, kind of, like, we were really talking about the poverty stuff, like, not poverty stuff, the population stuff the other day, too. Uh-huh. And, uh... Like, we never get to do that. Like, if you're sitting around, hanging around, everyone just staring at their phone, you know, like, if someone will say something that's funny, people laugh. Like, no one ever really sits down anymore and, like, talks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's it's like a lost art, I guess yeah, you'd say. Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. That is weird to think yeah, about. Just, I swear, it's just all the phones, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah kids are glued to them. Absolutely. Which I, I, I'm pretty bad about it, too. It's not even kids anymore. Everybody does it. Absolutely. You, you see 50-year-old people sitting in, like, sitting in a coffee shop just on their phone the whole entire time, not saying a word. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Like, the older generation's really critical yeah. of us, but it's like, yo, you're doing the same thing. No, dude, it's Have you, like, do you read anything ever about, like, medical marijuana? No, no. Dude, I saw this thing the other day. Apparently, like, elderly people are, like, the highest new user of medical marijuana. Or not, I guess, just recreational, too, in the states that it is. Oh, really? Yeah, which, like, I, I feel like they're, they're ones always bad-mouthing it and, like, people being on their phones. And, like, I see more old people on their phones nowadays than yeah. I used to ever. Because yeah. that's kind of, like, the, the collective hypothesis of our generation. They're like, like yo, once this yeah. older generation dies out, then weed's going to be legal, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, that, that's what I always thought too. So that's like a really surprising stat. That's yeah. crazy. No, I know my uh, my brother got my mom some of that like CBD oil for her knee because she has real like her knees always hurting her, uh-huh. and she said it helps out a lot. So I feel like that's probably more of the stuff they're using. You know? Okay. I feel like they're probably using it for like a medicinal reason. There, it's out there getting stoned like we would. You know? Okay. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it like topical use? Like they rub it? She rubs yeah. it on her knee. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And she said it helps a lot. Wow. Yeah, just like overall pain. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, I kind of want to try some of that stuff. I know, like, uh, like, I was talking about, like, Garrett the, earlier, like, the MMA fighter. I see he's sponsored uh-huh. by, like, some CBD oil place in Springfield. Oh, no way. I, I, like, follow a couple guys like that online, and they all they all do the same thing. That's cool. Yeah, like, I, like all the UFC fighters are, like, power lifters and stuff like that. They all are sponsored by companies like that. Interesting. And okay. apparently I'll say it helps. Like, I know one guy, he rubs, like, the cream on his chest because he has, like, real bad, like, shoulder tendonitis or whatever it is. Uh-huh. He said it helps, like, 100%. Wow. Yeah, it just goes away. I keep hearing about this stuff, but I don't know yeah. much about it. Yeah, I've never think even, of I, it. I've seen I'm, some gas station. Like, I'm not going to buy some gas station CBD. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I, I've tried your hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the shits. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I know my uh, my cousin had, like, a jewel pod, and it was a CBD yeah, jewel pod. Yeah, I got pod. one of those from Discount one time. Uh-huh. Yeah, it didn't do anything to me, though. I remember I smoked, like, half of it, and I was, uh-huh. like, I was like, this fucking sucks. Like, oh, that yeah. sucks. No, I'm trying I'm trying to quit jeweling. Do you do that at all? I My my roommate has one, and I use it because of that. I, yeah. I made, like a, like, a goal or, like, a commitment. I'm like, I'm not going to buy one of these. Yeah. But especially if I'm out. Like, I mean, that the other night yeah. whenever I was out, like, we were at that same pregame. Oh, dude, it's hard not to. Everyone around you is doing it. You're just like, all right, give me that thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, ooh, like, here's a little head buzz. Yeah. Especially, yeah, especially when you're drinking, it is yeah. like it's a it's a really desirable yeah. feeling. It feels good. No, my uh, it was actually New Year's. Me and my buddy both took ours, and we we're like, oh, we don't want these anymore. Like New Year's, you aren't jeweling. Threw them out the window. The next morning, I wake up all hungover. Like, dang it! Like, why did we do that? <laughs> now I've came back to school like this semester, and all my friends are getting mad at me because like I used to have a jewel, so I never asked people to hit them. I'm constantly asking people like, dude, you're mute. Like, you're sitting here hitting our jewels constantly. Uh huh. Yeah, and then, like I guess. That's why I don't want to buy another one, but I need to just quit hitting other people's. Yeah, true. Yeah, because I, I hit it just as much if I would have my own. Well, it'll be – I wouldn't worry too much, at least from your perspective, because it'll be easy once you move away from college. Yeah, I'll have a job every day. I'm not going to be smoking e-cigs walking uh-huh. around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I noticed. Like, cause I, 
I I would say I was actually like addicted. Like, yeah. I, I would oh, diagnose no, same. myself as yeah, addicted. Dude, that's it, crazy. Not even owning one, just yeah. like like hitting my roommate. You like, see one, you're like, okay, I can I hit that exactly. Like, yeah. And just being around all these other people, I was yeah. I was doing it on a daily basis, like oh, most yeah. of last semester. I go home for like winter break. Didn't have it like any yeah. access to a jewel. I didn't think about a jewel. Yeah, or if it's anything. not there, I'm fine. Yeah, just a second. I see one. Yes. Like if it's it's like an addiction kind of thing. Like it's a. Uh, you start fiending in the sense, like if you know it's available, you're like, yeah. I want that, I want I that, and mean. then you're like, yeah. you'll start doing like, like kind of some addictive like yeah. tendencies. No, dude, like yeah, I'll be like walking through a bar and I'll see some like random person hitting a jewel, and like I'll go up and like say something, talk to them, like, hey man, can I get your jewel? And they're usually like, most time because everyone does it, they're like, yeah. uh-huh. or they're like, oh no, it's on red or my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I always used to say to people, like, have it just put it in my pocket so they didn't see it. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw a tweet. It's like jewels are the new gum. Yeah, honestly, no, it's weird, like. Like twenty years ago, there were cigarette butts everywhere, and now you're just gonna see all these jewel pods. Around. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be kind of bad for the environment, honestly. Like yeah, I plastic. Because I know, I know, honestly, every time I have one, I just flick it. You know? Yeah, if I'm not buying a trash can, I just flick it on the ground. That's I never yeah. thought about that. I never yeah. thought about that. I don't know how that could like. I'm sure it could negatively impact some way. I'm sure, yeah, but I mean, the oceans now are fucked. Yeah, I like how much stuff. So I actually saw this thing the other day. It was pretty cool. I forget what the name of it was, but it's just the, all these surfers like started this like nonprofit company. They, okay. I think they got like a grant for like two million dollars, and they literally got all these boats, probably like like thirty boats, and uh, they're just like out there and just diving in the water and cleaning up all the ocean. They've cleaned like fifteen barges worth of trash up out of it, like just along like the coastlines. No way. Yeah. Wait, what do they like? They just go like deep sea diving, kind of. Yeah, I don't know if they're, it's all diving or if they have equipment, but I just saw it was like it came on like one of the Instagram like stories, like the sponsored ones that pop up, you know. That's cool. Yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, it was really cool. I'm glad seeing people do stuff like that. That's good that they're getting a lot of like publicity for it too, because yeah, they'll hopefully get more funding. Yeah, from like there. a GoFundMe or something like that. More uh-huh. people are gonna back it, and all of a sudden we can have like a hundred of those things going around, cleaning up the ocean. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. Whenever somebody like commits some of their some of their yeah. time, some of their life to like solving a problem that affects all of us yeah that's awesome no I, even just stuff like when it comes to like straws like i always i remember it was like a couple months ago someone was like save the turtles or something like that uh-huh you know and like people have been like i haven't i don't use a straw nearly as much as i used to uh-huh yeah yeah because those like metal straws are getting really popular yeah. now too especially with like all, everyone has i feel like everyone has like a yeti cup or like an arctic one or something like that now and there's a good honestly there'd be a good idea for those absolutely yeah absolutely yeah, my one of my buddies, he has a his Instagram bio. It's like, oh, I forgot what it was. It was something along. If you still use a plastic water bottle, it wasn't it wasn't this, but it was it was pretty much said go fuck yourself. Like, yeah, like or yeah. reconsider your life or something like yeah. that. I was like, I like that. I no, like that. Yeah, I mean, every time I go to I go to work, I bring my Yeti cup with me every single time. You know, that's all I drink out of. Uh huh. Yeah, plastic. Yeah, plastic bottles are kind of a waste of money too. I feel like it makes me drink more water if I have a case of water, though. I'll put that in my fridge, and I do like the feeling of getting a cold-ass bottle of water out of the fridge and opening up and drinking it. That is a good point. Yeah. I and mean, t- the water kind of t- tastes yeah, better. I know what you mean. Springfield water tastes kind of funny to me. Yes, yes. Yeah. I need to get a Brita filter. Yeah. I also need to get same, ice trays. Same. Me and my roommate have lived in our new house for, like, two months now. Uh-huh. And we haven't had ice trays this whole entire time. Oh, really? Yeah. We're like, we, so there's no ice? Yeah, no ice. We constantly bitch about it, and just neither of us do anything about it. Like, you know, just one of those things, like, you go do it. Like, you just never do. Dude, you know, because yeah. you, you're going to a Super Bowl party right after this. Yeah. Is, is your roommate going to be there? Yeah, he'll be there. <laughs> you should just show up with, like, some ice trays. Just yeah. Like, oh! like, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> just walk in. It's, like, the most hype moment ever. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's great. No. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be, like, what, a dollar at the dollar store? <laughs> Probably yeah. something like that. <laughs> I just need to go do it. And it's, like, it's such a tedious problem. I love yeah. how it hasn't been solved yet but yeah. you guys are still oh no there, there, that's there, awesome it was probably a week ago but in a break and we had we had a egg carton that like we finished like oh it's filled so it's like oh, it's so bad, you know? like, <laughs> oh that's great yeah, yeah. still this won't go by if i probably will this week that's yeah. creative by the way that's yeah. creative I, I don't think i would have thought of that yeah mind. he said it and i was like i was like you know like i've done a lot of white trash things in my life like, <laughs> that's probably one of the more ones but like it worked there we go <laughs> yeah it's the most college thing yeah day, man. that's college as fuck <laughs> Oh man, uh, that's funny. That's yeah, funny. innovative though. He figured out the problem though. There you go. Yeah. There you go. He's probably gonna be an engineer. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> it's crazy how you see people do like weird stuff like that and figure stuff out. Yes, yes. yeah. Especially in college, I feel like that's what most people like do like little weird ass shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like counterintuitive like life hacks. Yeah, they're just like, wow, how are you living like that? No, saw, that's awesome. I saw this video the other day. It was of these college guys and. uh they were smoking weed, but they like you know, like passing a blunt around. Uh-huh. They had this like little string. 
and like like hooked to the ceiling and they like okay. tied the blunt to it and instead of having like reach the whole way over on the other couch and just drop it and swing over the other <laughs> guy and he'd catch it. I'm like, that's actually really smart. That's like, funny. That's like, funny. My buddy's doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing there's like some weight connected yeah. on there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I think they just had like a little uh, nut, like nut on there, so it swings uh-huh. back and forth. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's creative. That's creative. Yeah. This like the. <laughs> It reminds me, what are those things called where they, uh, I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to remember the name even. The I ball that goes to. back and forth? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, those are That's cool That's what too, I was though. expecting you to say because he's going like that. I no, like, those, uh, uh, they, they used to have them in like the, like the 90s movies. Like this is where I'm kind of imagining this. Like at the start of a movie or something, like maybe they'll have like all the actors' names. But it'll be, it's like it's like a creative thing. So like say, say you started off by like just flicking this up mm-hmm. and then this flicks up. This hits this, which makes like a mouse trap go. Oh, up, I know. Which puts like a ping about. pong ball yeah. down. You know what no, I'm talking yeah. about? God, I can't, I can't think of the name of that either. Uh-huh. But no, me and my buddies tried making one of those one time. Oh, no way. Yeah. We did it for like two hours. Like, this isn't even fun anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's all we're going to do is have to put this bike all away in a little bit. Yeah. It's like, come on, put my put my hangers away. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be, it'll be like, it'll do all that just to get like something to flip onto a pad at the end of it. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why did we put yeah. my mom's toothbrush back in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, I actually had to do that for a uh, physics class back in high school. It was, yeah. It was a cool project. It was cool. No, physics is something like I'd be in agriculture. I never had to do anything like that. I'd like, I wish I would have had to take classes like that. Cause I feel like you actually learn something, you know? Yeah. True. Yeah. I was, it was my junior year of high school and I was kind of naive. And yeah. It's so like the first semester. Oh yeah. You didn't give a shit. It was high yeah, school. First yeah. semester I did really well and I was really engaged, but the yeah. second semester, yeah, literally I just, I show up committed yeah. to uh, downloading as much music as I could. And yeah, I, I like I literally printed off like a list of all these <laughs> different songs with like by artist. And yeah, I, probably five hundred songs that we just we just sit there in class just thinking of oh what's a good song by this person? What's a yeah. good song by this person? No, that's cool. No, I feel yeah. In high school, it's it's crazy how like life changes from high school to college. Like I feel like I never studied once in high school. I just me neither. Yeah, went to class, took it, and like it was easy. You know, Same. yeah. I never had a class. I was like, wow, this is really hard. Mm-hmm. Or even if it was, I'd just cheat off somebody. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, high school was kind of a kind of a joke. Honestly. Yeah, more time commitment, but as yeah, far as, like, it being in to be the there class, all day every day. That sucked. Yeah, honestly, my my senior year, I had a I it's called Jabo, so I got to leave every day at twelve forty five. Oh, that's early. Yeah. No, I, I, really? half the time I didn't work till 3.30. So uh-huh. I would just go home and eat breakfast. I mean, I eat breakfast, eat lunch, and just sit there. Just chill. Wow. Yeah. No, there's a couple. There's probably like 30 kids that got to do it. Like, it was a pretty cool program. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Wait, it was because of your work? Yeah, if you had a job, like, I had enough, like, classes I already took, and uh-huh. I made good enough grades that I could go do this. Yeah. And if you had a job, like, they'd let you just get out of school early and go work. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I just I just always found the hours of high school like so ridiculous. Like to this day, I, yeah. I, I still do. No, kid, yeah, and half these kids like I mean I'm, I work every day at eight a.m. or I have class, mm-hmm. and I still don't go to bed till one or two. You know, yeah. I'm sure these high school kids are the same way. Just like all sleep deprived, yeah, walking exactly. around. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel like you can't really like process information until probably like ten o'clock. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like that first class, and all, you're just like, oh my god. That's, yeah. I, that's I'm still like, that way today, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm the worst at running off minimal sleep. Yeah. Like, even, dude, even, like, six hours, I'm, like, a zombie. See, I, I differ. Like, if I go hunting, I think it's because uh-huh. I want to go do that, though. Ooh. You know, like, I'm really, like, I'm thinking about it the night before. I'm getting all prepared. I'm good that way. But if you get me up for work and I'm on a couple hours of sleep, I'm, like, just dragging the whole time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I can usually fall asleep if I really want to. If I don't go hunting. If I, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm like, all right, I can sleep for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's the crazy, just the mindset between the two. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Like, I'll get up at two o'clock in the morning sometimes for hunting to go drive down places. Wow. Yeah, and like, Wait, after I'm going just... to bed at like like maybe like eleven or yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, wow. like three hours of sleep, and I'll be fine till I'll get home at noon. Then I'll, I mean, I'll end up falling asleep for like five hours after that. But okay. Yeah, I'll take a five hour nap, but still. What What do you look forward to the most whenever you like you're like in prepared for hunting? I don't I know. It, it kind of depends every day. So, especially duck hunting, if it's like getting to be early no, like late november like everything's starting to get real cold mm-hmm. you got, like a northwest wind i just know you usually know you're just gonna have like a good day out there mm-hmm. but i don't know I, I really don't even care about killing anything when i go it's always just about hanging out with my buddies having a good time okay yeah. okay kind of uh would you say it's like relaxing and, and at the same time like a really climatic rush yeah honestly i i think why i like lifting and hunting so much it's kind of like a primal feeling i don't know you know, like, okay okay you know like lifting it's like you're just 
picking stuff up, you know, and like hunting out. No, it's it's not. I don't. I really don't care about killing anything. I just like being out there. I like the chase of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I I can imagine. I yeah. can imagine, but like, it's probably one of those things you don't understand until you actually feel. Yeah. That's, uh, that's cool. Yeah. Like duck hunting doesn't give me. I think gives me a big rush. You have like a big group of birds come into you, but like deer hunting, honestly, like when you see like a like a big buck stop out, you're like heart just starts racing really yeah like I, I i didn't really start deer hunting until i was a senior in high school just because my dad never did it uh -huh. and uh, all my buddies were going all the time they all started shooting big deer and i was like okay i'm gonna go give it a try and the first time i ever saw a big buck i was like oh this is a good like I, i've always just duck hunts like it, it can't be that big of a rush and i just was like oh my god like all of a sudden it's there and you're like i'm about to kill this thing you know like, is it all about timing at that point oh uh, yeah for deer hunting it kind of comes down it's, it's like end of october it's like the rut and okay. that's when, like, bucks are out chasing does, trying to, like, you know, like, knock them up and stuff. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, like, that's the timing for when they go deer hunting. These big bucks, they, like, so deer most of the year live in, like, this certain area. Like, they have, like, a territory. It's, like, their core ground. Okay. And these bucks will leave their core ground because they just get so wound up. You'll see these things, like, running through the middle of the road, like, chasing these does that are in, like, heat, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah, like, they literally, like, just run over. Like, that's when you, like, you can be watching this deer all year. Won't see him again after the rut because either, like, went to your neighbor's property, got killed, or went, like, 10 miles down the road. Wow. Yeah. But the majority of the time, deer stay to, like, their, like, core ground. No, oh, I didn't know that. I yeah. didn't know that. I kind of figured they were, like, kind of a, uh, like, on the move kind of animal. Yeah. No, I'm, like, people are, like, able to manage. Like, if you're a really good hunter, like, I don't have my own property, but people, like, manage their deer herds. Like, if you have a lot of property, like, uh -huh. the same deer will be around there for years and years. Okay. Yeah. I had an uncle who did that. He like, well, he had them actually like caged in. Oh no, like, I, I, that stuff's kind of cool. I've been to a couple places like that. That's crazy. Yeah. No, I got a buddy that has a pet deer too. Oh no way. Yeah. It 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 got his mom got hit when it was like a fawn uh -huh. like, in front of the house. They just took it in, and put it in the pen. And it's actually pretty big. It's a buck, and it's got some. It's probably. I, I'm sure you don't really know what scoring deer is, but it probably scores like 150. It gets a like they at the basis off like inches and how stuff like that goes, like how thick the like antlers are. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then they go like how many? How many like like how thick it points? is? Yeah. And, exactly. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. There's a whole. I really don't even understand it. Like, there's certain people like that's their job is to score deer. Wow. Yeah, I mean, no, it's like a whole it's like a side it? job. But yeah, it's like yeah, yeah totally. they like do like certain things. They like with a tape measure, like how they like guide it. Yeah. That's pretty cool though. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It's uh. Have you have you ever seen the dude online? He's like, oh, what what is he? He he like has he. I'm gonna pull this dude up. I think his name's Kelv. He he always says like everybody eats. Yeah, I think I've seen that before. It's uh, it's it, I'm not doing a good job at all of describing it, but it's he's really funny. He he pretty much it seems like he lives on some property. Yeah, that uh, I gotta look him up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh brother he out, nature. He's out here being like giving up. A, yeah, now this dude's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> just look at him. And, yeah, man, look at Canella. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a chain on it. <laughs> He's like, I mean, he's look at that. He's like pretty much tamed yeah. his deer. I, I guess they're just living like at his house. or Yeah, whatnot. I'm sure everyone just feeling. Yeah, he, he's like out there with like a full thing of grapes, like letting them eat it. Yeah, <laughs> saying, yeah this guy's funny as hell. Oh, that's great. That's funny. Yeah, like, brother nature. I knew, brother nature. Yeah. I think I think his Instagram's Kelv or something. Yeah, because I, I knew I was I knew there's something related to that. But that, yeah, it's funny. It's funny. No, that, that's cool to have like encounters like that with like wildlife. It's wild. Like you'll see videos of dudes and they'll have like a bear and they'll come within like four feet of them. Like I'd be shitting my pants. That's crazy. Yeah, I, that, that's something I don't. It'd be cool to go like super big game hunting like that. But I don't know if I'd like. I don't know if I'd like being around something that could hurt me. You know, that's a good. Point. Honestly, horses freak me out. Oh really? Yeah. Do you like horses? I, just I the thought of how strong they are. Yeah, like I, I don't mind it when you get like I couldn't imagine getting kicked by a horse. That fucking hurt. Ugh. Yeah, I had to do. I had a class. It was just called animal science, like one hundred and one. I had uh -huh. to take, but it was like the first time I've ever really been around like large animals. You know, like I went out there. We had to do this whole thing with horses for like three weeks, and it, they scared the shit out of me every time. Like I mean, they're all nice horses, you know. Uh -huh. But like when you'd walk around, you see them like tense up, and you're just like, oh my god. And you know, you know, like they're, yeah, if they they're wanted sensing to, your yeah. presence. Yeah, if it wanted to, it could beat the fuck out of me. Yeah. Absolutely, like you can't beat a horse, you know. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, you could ride it. Yeah. <laughs> It's like yeah, don't don't run from it, run with it. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Yeah. But what are your thoughts on like trophy hunting, like as a whole? Uh, I mean, for it depends. If you're out there like on a safari killing like zebras and fucking weird shit like that, like if you killed like uh -huh. a giraffe, I don't like that, honestly. 
like I don't want people out there shooting tigers, you know, like that yeah. shit. Is, you know, but for like deer hunting, I think that's cool. Or like duck hunting, like because it's still it's still like a skill. Like you have to go out there and find this deer, and like everyone wants to kill the biggest deer they can, you know. Uh huh. Yeah. But I don't know. Like I know people go out there just trying to kill like certain types of ducks, like the real pretty ones. And I think that's cool. Like if you want to get them mounted, if you got the money to do it, do mm -hmm. it. But don't be unethical about it. Like don't go out there trying to like kill like this endangered animal or something like that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Are, are ducks like at any like risk of being endangered? There's or? there's so many different species of ducks. There's oh, certain, really? Yeah, there's certain ducks you can't shoot at certain times of year, and like the population levels are real down. Like, oh it, really? It's different in every state about how many you can kill usually, but majority of the part there's like six ducks that you can kill each day. Uh huh. And with all these different species, say like mallards, that's like the common duck you see when like you see a picture of a duck. You know, it's like the one with the green head. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you can kill four of those, four okay. of those a day, and you can kill. But it like even get more complicated than that. Only all four of them can be like drakes, which are male ducks, but only two of them can be hens. Oh, like, really? Which are the female ones, yeah. So it, like, I, and that's for, that's like for population very, reasons. Like, like these you know. these rules seem very difficult to enforce, though. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, my, I've shot. I mean, there's been a couple times I've killed one too many hen on accident. You know, you have a big group of ducks come in and uh -huh. everyone starts shooting. You're like, oh damn, we killed one too many. Uh -huh. But like, if a conservation officer comes out, that's the only way you really get in trouble for it. Okay, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Or, or I've seen I've seen quite a quite a few idiots online, like on Instagram. They'll post like a picture, like two dudes, and they'll have like way too many ducks or stuff like that. And you're like, you're just asking to get caught right now. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, how much trouble can you get in, dude? There's some big fines out there, especially. Really? Yeah, I mean. Honestly, if you're honest about it, when they show up, they're okay. Usually, uh -huh. like, you'll get a ticket or something. But if you shoot, like, some ducks out of season or something like that, you get a huge fine and usually your hunting license taken away. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Which, I mean, like, some people, that's not a big deal for me. I'd be like, well, damn, there goes my winner. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's somebody's goal to just lose their hunting license. Yeah. No, I used to, I used to want to be a conservation officer. Okay. Yeah, but they, they don't, I mean, they get paid all right, but it's like being a police officer or something like that. And it's honestly kind of like nowadays, it's a pretty high demand job. I mean, not high demand, but everyone wants to be one. Like every kid that grew up hunting is like, oh, that'd be a cool job to do. Okay, I could see but, that. But yeah, usually a lot of them have to have like military background and stuff like that. What's that? Uh, they're just constantly going through the woods. Like it's, it's honestly kind of a physically demanding job. Like they're like hiking up and down hills. It's, it's honestly, it'd be kind of lonely too. You're just like out by yourself the whole entire time patrolling an area. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be... It'd be cool to be in nature like that much. And yeah, no, I feel like they all definitely love their jobs every day. That's cool. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to get someone in trouble for some stupid shit I've done before, too. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Is there, is there like, like, do most hunters have a lot of uh, respect for the environment and, like, like a, I guess, like, a, an appreciation for nature and, like, some conservation ethics? Or? Yeah, I feel like that's majority of the people do, but there are guys out there that don't give a fuck. You know, there's always people that don't give a fuck. Yeah, true. Yeah. But no, like that's that's how I was raised. Is like you know I don't like even when I like shoot my like shoot my gun out like I'll pick up all my shells. Uh -huh. but, but there's guys that just leave shit laying around all the time. They fucking trash the trash the environment, the waters. You know, uh -huh. I know a lot of people that like go out there and kill ducks and just don't eat. Like I I have to eat everything I kill, otherwise I kind of feel bad. You know. Okay. But Makes I know sense. guys that'll go out there and kill a couple hundred ducks a year and not even eat one of them. They're like I don't even like duck. They just like going duck hunting. No, oh, they just like the rush. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I don't feel like that's even necessarily a bad thing because they're still doing it the right way. They just aren't eating it. I mean, they could give it away, but honestly, you don't like. There's not a rule like you have to eat eat it. You know, yeah, like, good point. Yeah. Honestly, after you kill it, you can like throw it in your woods or in a trash can. And you can't really say anything about it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What are you like? What are your thoughts on people that uh, I guess come at you and kind of get like aggressive, like kind of kind of the uh, counter like, argument to yeah. hunting? They're like, oh, that's terrible for the environment, and yeah. Uh, well, like we were talking about earlier, you know, like population's increasing. We're constantly taking away from where these, not even, so. It's, I guess it's different from ducks, but like say deer hunting, we're moving in on all of these like deer's like territories, you know, like where they live. And so like there's eventually going to be too many deer for too little of an area and they're going to get all these weird diseases. It's going to wipe them out if you don't like hunt them. Oh, really? Yeah. Same thing I with, have heard that with with deer before that like yeah. there's there's a lot of like overpopulation. No, oh, that. it's crazy. Like it's real bad in some areas. Uh huh. Yeah, like that's why like like the video that dude what what was his, what was his name again? Uh, what, the, Brother yeah, Nature. Brother Nature. Yeah, that's why there's deer in this neighborhood and he's just feeding them just because they have nowhere else to go. Uh huh. Which I'm sure those deer don't mind. They're getting a whole bunch of free food. Yeah, but sure. Still, yeah, that that just causes car wrecks stuff like that. Mm. But with birds, I know they could get some pretty nasty diseases sometimes. Wow. And especially, you, ever, you know what snow geese are? No, no. That is a uh, – you ever see, like, there'll be, like, white birds up in the air, real loud, flying in huge groups. 
It's like a white goose is what it looks like. Okay. But they make okay. it almost like, yeah, 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 noises. Like, <laughs> no, no, I can't uh, think of them. Yeah. But um, those things, that's like one of the more populated birds. And they fly, like they will go into like a farmer's field or something and completely just wipe it out of everything that's there, like rip all the nutrients out of it. And they shit everywhere too. Oh, really? And they'll bring like other like crops and weeds from like other fields they were just in and ate and shit them into this field. And then like you'll have to like he'll have to go buy a whole bunch of fertilizer and uh-huh. fungicides and stuff to get rid of it. It's like parasites. Yeah, man. and they're yeah honestly they're like wiping out refuges that are like the, like in place there for all these other like species of birds, you know. And they're just like killing other bird populations by doing it. Oh wow! Yeah, they have a it's a conservation season. It actually just started in February, mm-hmm. and you can kill as many of these as you want to. Really? Yeah. So people like go out in fields and they'll put like thousands and thousands of decoys because that's the only way you can kill them since there's so many of them. That's what they're used to going into. Uh-huh. But they only have like six thousand decoys out there. What? Yeah. Wait, you, decoy like the the. Like fake, like fake, fake ones. birds of yeah. those. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. And like these they, these things will come in in groups of like hundred to that like multiple thousands. You know. Uh huh. And like you don't even have like usually when you go duck hunting you can only have three shells in your gun. Uh huh. But these they don't. And they have like magazine extenders and stuff. So these guys will be out there with shotgun shooting like twelve shots at a time with like a hundred. Like they'll kill like two hundred birds in a day. Oh. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Like I've been on a hunt like that before. Like, uh-huh. like we killed like fifty. I was like, wow. I guess Plus, you, like you're kind of yeah. it's justified in your mind. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Hey, fuck these things. Like, yeah. Yeah, like kill them, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That sounds yeah. fun. Is there is there? Uh, well, I know there are some arguments too, like to where hunting helps fund conservation as well. Oh no, yeah. So say like ducks unlimited and stuff like that. They're always constantly like building new refuges for these birds. And when you buy uh, your federal duck stamp every year, like you uh-huh. have to do it to go like duck hunting. All of that money goes straight back into the environment, like for them to go build places like that. Okay, interesting. Yeah, interesting. No, yeah, if like people, if you didn't have to pay for anything, you know, people would just be out there hunting all the time. Like yeah, everyone totally. would be doing it. Yeah, yeah. I guess that, that's like a good thing no, it's to bring up for anybody. Thing. Yeah, uh, anybody who hates on hunting. Yeah, like, like uh, you're just a murderer. Yeah, like what money are you putting in to pay back for this? You know, uh-huh. like you're not out here building refuges and stuff like that. Good you know, point. yeah, clean up the water. Yeah. I've seen, I've heard the same thing for like trophy hunting. Yeah, I, I was actually, I was looking up trophy hunting yesterday because yeah. I, I figured we'd probably end up talking about that yeah. like a little bit. But it they one single elephant hunt can go for up to eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And that that money's gonna go right back into it. Yeah, assuming that money's going. So right I'm back sure into some it. of it does. I'm sure the guys that have like these guiding places, you know, they take people out on these hunts, have to like pay fine, like pay fees and shit for them to go do that. Uh huh. And I guess like if you have to get, I'm sure you have to get. I don't know how it is over in Africa, but. Here, like everything, almost everything you shoot, you have to have a license or a tag for it. Unless, mm-hmm. Yeah, unless it's like coyotes or something like that, you don't. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you can. Uh, Coy- excuse me. You can you can just shoot a coyote. Yeah, it's just a, it's considered like a pest animal. Really? Yeah. Wow. Or same thing with hogs. Really? Yeah, like down south, you can just shoot hogs. Wow. I, I actually, I think you may still have to have like a generic hunting license, but you can get it's like same thing as snow geese. You can kill as many of them as you want to. Wow. Yeah, wow. you don't have to like go out there with like a coyote hunting license. You know, you can just fucking shoot them. Hogs are pretty aggressive, aren't they? Yeah, those things will charge you. Really? Yeah, I've never, I've never really seen one in person. I went to Texas one time and went hog hunting, but we never shot one. I was like, oh, we're gonna go down here and smoke them. But these people had a ranch that's like kind of like you're saying, like the guy has a deer farm. It's all high fence, so uh-huh. they, they only have like a hundred hogs in there, and it was like thirteen miles of land. It was nuts. And you didn't, you didn't find any? No, they killed one the next weekend after we left. Oh, really? Yeah, I was like, that's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Now we went fishing a whole bunch. It was fun down there. It, it seems like like thirteen miles. Like it, I'm assuming you're on the move too. Yeah, they, this place was badass. It was called Triple Ten X Ranch, uh-huh. and they literally had I think it was like thirty miles of paved road throughout this property, and you could drive a car on it. You know, like you're going wow. through. Like they had, they had a whole bunch of cows there too. That's what like the main ranch is for. Mm-hmm. But uh, they had like safari animals out there. You know, like they had like a whole area that was like African. So they had like zebras, like black bucks, all these weird things. They take people out there to hunt them. That's crazy. Yeah. You know, That's cool. You know That's really cool. Yeah, you know who Scott Oppenborn is? No, no, no. Oh, he's one of my buddies. You'd probably know him if you saw him. Okay, absolutely. But uh, it's his, yeah, it's like his sister's fiance's family's ranch. But it, like we got to go down there, and it was sick. Wow. That's yeah. cool. No, That's they have, cool. They have like elk and stuff down there. Like, it's cool. Wow. Yeah. That, yeah, that'd be cool to hunt something like that massive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's when I was kind of like looking at something, and I was like, holy shit, like, this thing's big. I've never seen this in person. Is it, is it like a different... At least, like, I, I know you didn't kill any hogs, but is it, like, kind of a rush to think, like, these are, like, 
animals that are going to get aggressive that could possibly hurt me? Like, yeah. Is that like a different rush? No, yeah. I went uh, coyote hunting one time actually here in Springfield with one of my buddies. Uh-huh. And like that was probably a bigger rush than I had. Like we, we saw one and like it came running in and we didn't get a shot at it just because like it came by so fast. Uh-huh. But, like I'm just sitting there at the collar. I'm like, okay, I've seen coyotes in the field. It's kind of like a dog or something, you know? Uh-huh. And all of a sudden this thing's like 20 yards away from me. I'm seeing it like up close. I'm like, oh, fuck. Like oh, they could wow. bite me if it wanted to, you know? Like it's yeah. a predator. Like you had a call out that's like in a little tail. It's called like a mojo. Uh-huh. They're just like flipping back and forth, and uh, they're coming to like try to eat that. You know, they think it's like an injured rabbit or something. I'm like, uh-huh. this thing's hunt out here like killing shit too. You know, like yeah, you just hunted the hunter. Yeah, exactly. No, it was a cool feeling. Like, I was like, I definitely go do it again. I just really don't know that much about it. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that's that's a weird thought. Yeah, that's a cool thought. Honestly. No predator. I could imagine like. There's people up north that are like shooting cougars and stuff like that. Oh. You ever seen how big those things are? I, I, yeah, I've seen like the, uh, yeah, they're, I guess like the taxidermy ones, like yeah. in like museums and whatnot. Yeah, they're like as big as we are. That's crazy. Yeah, and they could easily kill you. Oh, or like hunting. I guess you can't anymore because they're so endangered. But the people I used to hunt, like polar bears. Uh huh. Yeah, that's like the one bear that will like track and kill a human. No, like, really. Those things eat anything. They wow. eat each other. No way. Yeah, dude, it's so hard for them to find food. Like in like in the winter. They go around. I, I watch a lot of Animal Planet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Respect. Yeah. yeah. They go around and uh, they, like, eat seals and stuff. Like, you know, these seals will be up on the ice. And they uh-huh. have, like, a little hole. Like, they'll just sneak up on them and, like, grab a baby seal. Oh, you wow. You know? Yeah. But then, uh, like, once everything starts thawing out, they have to, like, move off the ice. I love seeing thaw. those. I love seeing those videos, by the way. Yeah. Like, watching, like, a predator, like, yeah, do another its thing. Sit, yeah. And, uh, no, like, they'll eventually just run out of food to get because, like, there's so much water they can't get to these, like, seals. Uh-huh. They can just like faster them and swim away in the water, you know. That like apparently there's been like like mama polar bears eating their cubs and stuff for food because they just eventually get so hungry they're like fuck it, like wow, yeah. Are there any videos of that? I'm sure they're on YouTube. <laughs> man. Yeah, no, I've seen like yeah, there's some pretty gnarly ones on there. Yeah, I got like a phase one time where I just got. I think it was it, it was like uh, it was actually first year down here. Yeah, it was during Pledge Ship. But like, I whenever I'd get bored, I'd just be like any animal that came to mind. I'm like crocodile versus lion. Dude, I do that all. Or you like, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, I always do like gorilla versus uh, grizzly bear. You yes, know? yes, yeah, that's, that's a good like one. the typical one. I honestly, what do you think? Who do you think would win? Gorillas are fucking strong. Man. That's what I'm saying, and just way more agile too. Yeah, good point. Yeah. But I don't know, a grizzly a grizzly bear's got fucking some claws on it. Good point. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guess you just kind of have to see. Yeah, and the, the the bite of the grizzly is probably bigger. Too. Yeah, that's a that's a good question, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who I do. Yeah, I've had that one with my buddies before. I think the gorilla would win. I think I, I think I put my money on them too. Yeah, because they can like climb a tree real quick too. I'm like, imagining right. like smashing. Like, yeah, they, they could like definitely do some like oh, smashing. Yeah. yeah, I could like jumps up if it's getting its ass fucked up, just run away and get up in the tree. But like, fuck you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, can't bears <laughs> climb trees as well? I'm sure, but I'm sure this gorilla can like jump to the next one. Yeah, like, all right, yeah. what are you gonna do now? Uh-huh. Like, I'm gonna wait till you're not paying attention. For a second. <laughs> like, yeah, track him down to yeah. the trees. Well, what about what about the the landscape? So, like the arena, we'll call it the arena. Yeah, I guess, yeah, just, but, like, like just yeah, flat. Yeah, there's in a concrete parking lot. Like, yes, yes. <laughs> we'll see, I guess we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good. I don't know. I don't know who I'd put my money on. Yeah, I, don't, I still think the gorilla could get it done. Uh-huh. Just jump on its back, but who knows? Yeah, gorillas are badass. Yeah, it'd be cool to be a gorilla. Oh yeah, yeah. If you could be any animal, what would you be? Huh. I think I'd be someone that flies. Yeah, that would be badass. I'd be really like cool. bald eagle. <laughs> oh, that'd be sick. Or like that'd some type of cool hawk. Yeah. yeah. Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. <laughs> Bring it back to <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't know. What do you, you, so you think you'd be a bird too? I think I would, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but I guess it'd be cool to be like a predator too, like one of those animals. Like a wolf. That'd mm. be kind of badass. Like a jaguar. Yeah. Yeah, a mountain lion. That'd be cool. Except everyone's trying to fucking... Yeah, I mean, actually, being one of those, I feel like would suck too. I don't know about being a wolf. I don't know what their success rate are, but like all those big cats, uh-huh. majority of their hunts are like it's like fifty fifty. Like, oh, really? Yeah, like they're they're constantly out there hunting. That's what they have to eat, you know. And like at least the ones over in Africa, like I watch videos, like those things like are starving half the time and are super skinny because they're constantly trying to get something. But everything's faster than them over. Everything's like antelopes or bigger than them that they can like stay in big packs, you know. That's crazy too. Yeah. Cause we think of these like tigers as so fast. Yeah, and they are, but yeah, it's crazy that their prey have like adapted to outrun them. Yeah, that's wild. Wow. Yeah, they, yeah, it's crazy how like evolution does that. Like people, like animals eventually just find new ways. Yeah, or, or how there's like certain spots in the world that like nothing's changed in mm-hmm. hundreds of thousands of years yeah that's a good point too yeah. absolutely yeah or like like ever, ever watch anything about like animals in caves 
No, no. Yeah, like that that shit's weird too. Like there's these like I I don't know what kind of worms they are. It's kinda like a tapeworm in a way is what it looks like. It like hangs off like a mountain wall, like uh-huh. at the entrance of a cave and they glow. And there's these bugs come into it and like it just gross looking and it like just sucks all the inside out of like a bug and then just drops it on the ground. Are they like sticky? Yeah. Or, wow. Okay. Yeah. Like how like, oh, like, that's a weird yeah, like what developed it to do that, you know? Uh-huh. And they all just like there's like thousands of them just hanging there. Yeah. Yeah, you can learn just just like Learning about nature and then analyzing it just yourself is like yeah. so fun. It's so yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's crazy how we got here. Like, I wonder what we like if back in when we were cavemen and stuff like that. Like, what it used to be like. Yeah. Like, what were the turning points and like evolution that made us the way we are? I know the agricultural revolution was huge with a yeah. lot of different things. Oh, some people are making tools and learning how to farm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just crazy how there's so many of us here and like we really don't know exactly where we came from. Yeah. Yeah. They're like exactly, like yeah, specifically. I, yeah. I definitely like. I believe in God and shit like that, but I definitely think we came from like monkeys or something similar. In that, I definitely yeah. believe so. Yeah, as we well. are. I don't think all of us are just like we're here. Like, yeah, I think we. I think we just evolved over time. And, yeah, from monkeys. Yeah, but it's crazy how like religion is. I don't really. I really don't care about talking about religion after this, but like how there's so much like. All around the world, it's like the like different stories, but it's like the same thing, you know. It's all like it, I mean, it's kind of like the the question that you just kind of threw out there is yeah, like what di- all like different cultures, different areas. Like there's this innate human need to like figure out why are we here and where do we come from. Yeah, I'm sure some yeah, like where did the first person like okay, this is what happened. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, that, that's what we want. We want the I feel like we want the yeah. clarity. And the certainty of, like, an explanation. Mm-hmm. So then somebody's going to come up and kind of meet that that demand for, like, an yeah. explanation and be like, I know what happened. This is what it was. Yeah. yeah so apparently, like, dolphins are the second smartest animal in the world, like, after us. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if, if they ever have, like, because I wonder if they can, like, talk like we do and we just don't know about it. You know? Yeah, like, just the yeah. different ways they communicate. Yeah, like, wonder if they have conversations like this. Like, you, what, like what the fuck are all we? Like, why are we here? Because uh, somebody was telling me that the other night. This is, like, a friend telling me. Yeah. But, uh, like, apparently whales are, like, close to our level of really? intelligence when it that. comes, like, yeah. socially, which yeah. is crazy. Oh, yeah, I'm sure if one of them dies, they, like, mourn and stuff real bad. You yeah. Know? Yeah, that's crazy. And just the fact that they can communicate, like, I mean, obviously without any technology, but, like, from, yeah. like, I, it's, like, hundreds of miles away yeah, or something just, like that, right? They had the sonar. Like, that's, that's wild. crazy. Yeah. That is, yeah. It's another thing humans are fucking up. Yeah, I wonder, I'm sure, dude. Yeah, how have we not figured out technology, like, after studying whales or something that we, I actually, I guess there is with boats and stuff now, you know, like, sonar like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know, I, like, apparently our, our boats will, like, mess up their uh, yeah. their ways of communicating no, and get lost. That. Yeah. Aww. That would suck. Yeah, poor <laughs> whales. Yeah. But, uh, honestly, uh, I, th- this is a weird thought, but it, or a weird concept, I guess you'd say. But uh, there's this book I'm reading right now, and what they argue is that uh, humans are actually, like, multi-male, multi-female. And, th- dude, this is like, changed the way I think about, like, as, as far as sex goes with, like, yeah. humans, it, it literally changed the way I, like, analyze especially college especially yeah. college because i think this is really prevalent like yeah. in our age but it the book argues that before the agricultural revolution like humans were multi-male we would live in these uh i guess like small groups i don't know that the exact number yeah but what i mean by multi-male multi-female is not like a polyamorous relationship to where it's like one male and like 10 women it was like a, a non-jealous like say eight guys, eight girls, everybody fucks everybody. Yeah, that's like the premise of this book I'm reading right now. And I, I could see that. And then yeah. the, the the argument is that uh, pretty much the agricultural revolution came along, and then everything got more like individualized. And they're yeah. like, "This is my property. This is my land. This is my woman." Yeah. And then then it argues as well like the the value of like. I guess attractiveness with women went up, and uh, it, I don't know. It just makes a lot yeah, of different before claims. Yeah, everyone was just fucking hairy and muddy, you know. Like, uh-huh. that, that's fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it's a weird thought though. It's yeah. like because it, I it, like I don't know. I feel like most people kind of imagine yeah. that like like uh, humans are just naturally like biologically wired to be like monogamous. But yeah. like it, it's it's worth questioning. Like I wonder how many or how many cultural variables, how many like. How much conditioning there is. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean, though. It's because, like, 
they said, yeah, they, like you, you would imagine, like you and another person. If we were actually like really mates, we would mate with that one person uh-huh. and only be with them. The rest of our lives, like some animals are, you know. Mm-hmm. But people are out here fucking everybody, you yes. know. So I could see it being like that. I know what you mean? Yes, yeah. yes. That's such. A, it's a weird concept. Yeah. Like if we really were, yeah, if we were monogamous, like you'd meet that one person and that'd be your person forever. You'd only have sex with that one person. And you'd like lose interest in everybody else. Yeah. Instead exactly. of like suppressing that interest yeah. in other people too. Yeah. No, that makes sense kinda. Yeah. And it, what's it, a what's the book called? Uh Sex at Dawn. Sex at Dawn. Uh-huh. I need, honestly I'm really I need to start reading books or something, dude. Anyway. Yeah, I'm bad about it. Well, I mean, it, college is a hard time. Yeah. I think so, especially with like work, college yeah. and everything. No, yeah, else. I haven't read a book at all in college. Oh no way. Yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I went, there was like a semester, I think it was, it was two years ago. It was two years ago. Yeah. Now. Uh, it was spring semester of 2017. And uh, long story short, like some things went down with my family. My my uncle, yeah. uh, my uncle passed away. And like, I, no, that sucks, man. It, yeah. I wasn't super close with them, but it was how it went down and stuff. It was, that's, that's a whole other story. But yeah. it, it was, uh, it was just like really weird for me. And uh, that happened February 6th of that semester. So like two three weeks in yeah so i was like i kind of used it as an excuse i'm like i'm going full introvert this semester because yeah. I, was, I was my roommate of a two-person apartment moved out the semester before yeah i'm like i'm living alone so i used it as an excuse and i just read like all the time i pretty no, much that's just, cool yeah. i just read worked yeah went to school gym that's, that's about how i'm about to be in a couple of weeks you know yeah, true. i'm just moving somewhere now and gonna have nobody around me i call my friends that i've met here but still down here absolutely yeah. you're moving to kc right yeah I mean, I'll have buddies up there. I'll be working. But are you day. from KC or St. Louis? No, I'm from Alton, Illinois. So pretty much right next to St. Louis, like okay, absolutely, it's away. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, actually, the, those girls upstairs uh, that are here right now, they're they're uh, visiting from like I think it's not Alton. I, th- I think Belleville. Belleville is that yeah. close to you? No, that's probably like forty five minutes. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. They go to like SIUE or something like that. Uh they go to like some Swick. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I I was uh wrong of me but like i i was associate like uh all those towns close to st louis and illinois i was yeah. associate them all being close together yeah you know what oh I mean? no yeah some of them are like pretty far away yeah yeah, yeah. no you know like uh josh and Ruder and all them they're from o'fallon and that's, uh-huh. that's probably like a good hour away from me really yeah wow yeah Four, 45 minutes an hour yeah, yeah. I totally like alton yeah Belleville, Belleville, yeah, Bethalto, Edwardsville, yeah. Yes, all of that. I throw yeah. it all in one category. Yeah, because you just imagine it's just like St. Louis where everything's like could be 25 minutes away. Absolutely. Yeah, you're from St. Louis, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. But I, I bet you and I are like crazy far yeah, away. Where are you, what part are you I'm from? I'm as far west as you can go. What t- Like what towns are over there? Uh, Winsville or O'Fallon. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah, that is pretty far for me. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you like, uh, what direction are you from St. Louis? God damn. Dude, I'm. I just like think I'm pretty good with this, but I take all right. So the way I take home is 44, 270, and then I get on. I think it's 64, or it's not. It takes you right. Oh God, dude. So which way does 270? Oh, go? okay. So uh, 64 actually runs through my hometown. Really? Yeah, actually, like, it, may, it may not be. I don't remember. I live where 64. Is, yeah. Like it, they call it 40 up by me. I don't know why. I don't know why. But actually, it's called... dude, I bet you're probably only like 30 minutes away from me. Oh, really? Yeah, I bet it's uh, not that bad. Do you have a Do you have an indoor soccer complex up by you? Oh uh, no, but I know which one you're talking about. It used to uh-huh. be called the game, and then it got renamed to something else. But yeah, I used to play there. Okay, okay, yeah. absolutely. I think I think if we're thinking about the same spot, I used to drive out there, and it was yeah. So I want to say it was a little less than 45. I don't remember. Yeah, I'll I don't say remember. that was first time I Culver's when I started playing soccer out there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I, actually, that's funny. I remember like the first time I ever had Culver's. As a kid, yeah, it's a too. pretty good place, man. It's I, good. I like it. The Butter Burgers. Burgers yeah, and you always get the ice cream. Too. Yeah, exactly. No, that was that was always a tradition every time I had a game out there. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, Culver's is underrated. I yeah. feel like I feel like whenever you think of fast food, it's not like a, it's a the, yeah, top it's, thing you think of. Yeah, it's like a steak and shake almost. You know, like when you like I don't really consider steak and shake fast food. You know, uh-huh. like I'll go and sit down there and be like, oh yeah, let's go get some steak and shake. Like, Do you think it's because it has like that sit in appeal? Yeah. Okay, um, I get yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, what what's there's a place that's kind of like a steak and shaker or Culver's too that's in Springfield. Oh, is it uh like Freddy's? Freddy's, yeah. I've never been there. I always wanted to though. I think I had I had it, but on Springfield. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Just like better steak and shake. Is that what it is? Or you, yeah, you could say that. Yeah. Like, I, I think I had like a Frisco melt kind of appeal. Dude, that's I get that from steak and shake every time. Those are solid. Yeah, those are solid. Yeah, I love Thousand Island dressing, dipping a sandwich into it. Oh, I don't know what it is. And French fries. Uh huh. Yeah. Apparently, I think the Thousand Island something. I was looking up the ingredients because I used to work at Steak and Shake. For, yeah. Uh, for like a semester, and uh, 
I was looking up the ingredients of those Friscos, and they have like a fuck ton of sugar in them. Really? Yeah. Hmm. They have like like thirty grams of sugar in in a Frisco, and I was and I, I the only thing I could take away I think the Thousand Island maybe I don't yeah because I know some sauces have like a ton of of sugar so I don't know if that's yeah. what it was yeah and I really yeah I've never really like seen how sauces are made or anything like that dude I one time I was eating uh I was eating chicken with it was like some like soy sauce or something like that yeah and it was like t- two tablespoons had like ten grams of sugar or something really. Yeah, I'm just like I'm eating chicken. I'm dipping it in there, not thinking about it whatsoever. Yeah, and then like I was kind of pissed off after. Yeah, yeah. Like, Jesus fuck, I just ate so much sugar. Yes, yeah. it's like I I thought I was like eating healthy. Like yeah. I I was intending to eat healthy, and, yeah. then, and then I just ate probably. Yeah. I, I did the math, and it was a fuck ton of sugar. Yeah, there's got to be a lot of salt in there too for soy sauce. You know, it's a good point. Uh, yeah, honestly, salt's not that bad for you. Uh huh. Especially with like working out, I know like a lot of like bodybuilders and shit will eat a whole bunch of like to put a whole bunch of salt on their food before they go to the gym. Oh really? Yeah. Apparently, it just makes you like a better pump or something. I don't know. My, my roommate yeah. was telling me about it. He knows way more about that shit than I do. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's a. Uh, I know. There's like. Is there like a threshold? Like, because I know. I know too little sodium's not good. But yeah. Like, too much. I'm sure you can't just fucking be eating <laughs> salt, like the bottle in your mouth. It's got like yeah. a brick of salt yeah, at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Oh, so you're not gonna watch Super Bowl tonight? No, no, I got yeah. I got a homework. Unfortunately, yeah. no, I'm probably gonna watch it eventually. What times are we getting to? Yeah, and, uh, oh, it's actually six, so it's it already started at this oh, point. Fuck, dude, dude it's it, crazy how time flies by when yeah. you get here. Yes, yes. I was yeah. actually I was about to throw out if it is longer or short as you want to go. So if you if you want to like get over to your buddy's place, I totally get that. No, dude, whatever. Or, you, you got something you want to talk about now? I I can sit here for another ten minutes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Well, I, I will say like everybody tells me that same thing. Is it how? So we've been going hour and ten minutes. Like, Dude, that, I, I feel like we've been sitting here for like thirty five. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what I would guess like, too. You're never gonna have conversations like this anymore, so it's fun. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, that's what that's what I've kind of noticed because uh, at first when I first started doing this, it was kind of like a challenge for me. I'm like, how do I get people to do this thing that's so new to them? That's like kind of it, it was kind of a weird request at first. Yeah. But what I've kind of like, uh, and it like you you were extremely open with it. Yeah. I, I, so kudos on that. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. But uh, some people, I'll tell them, and they kind of they like, kind of don't want to go talk in front of a camera and into a microphone. Yeah. Yes. But yes. It's not bad. Like I don't fucking care what anyone thinks about me. I'm, exactly. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a te- I'm the same viewpoints. Never I talk to anybody. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's it, that's probably a little bit too. Like some people just are. are like, yeah, I've always considered you an authentic dude, so that's yeah. that's probably Thanks. a little Appreciate bit like <laughs> why you were so like open yeah. to it. But but some some people are like they're they're about it. Like once I explain it more, but like at, at first they're like, uh, what? Like, oh yeah, like, what like, did you just ask me? It depends. Like if if we came in here and you're like drilling me with questions about politics or something, I really don't like know that much about religion. It. Yeah, Go. I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck. I don't know what to say. But yeah, no, like you're an easy dude to talk to. Like, true, yeah, true. No, this is fun. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. But that's that's why that's uh, kind of the appeal I've taken like recently. I'm like, you know what? Like I could sell people as far as getting them on, like yeah, uh, and like to because like I really do believe that like everybody that has come on, not everybody, but I would I would say fucking like 95 percent, yeah. Like I would be bold enough to say that like that have come on and like sat down and and talked with me and, and somebody else or just yeah. just sat down and talked. It like they I would say. Pretty much all of them really, really enjoy themselves and no, like dude, really yeah, happy yeah. they like did it. So, yeah, so like, I could sell people an experience. That's how yeah. I like. I, no, I it's like that's persuasive. It definitely has been. Like I've never done anything like this. Like if we were hanging out right now, we wouldn't be like sitting down, looking at each other face to face, talking for an hour. You know, like true. We'd be like watching TV or fucking doing something else. Absolutely. Yeah. Like and like partially engaged with the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is, because you said, like, you and your roommate will, like, get back and, like, It's only like, when drunk. we're drunk, though, for some reason. Why though. do you think that? Because that's totally a thing. I, I, dude, that's I totally know, a thing. Like, like, we'll sit down there, and, like, we'll just start talking about stuff. And, you know, like, it'll just be, like, one thing. Like, we both, like, because usually, we, we have a pretty similar view, usually, but we usually kind of a little bit different, and we'll argue back and forth about who's right. I think that's what it is. But I don't know, like, we sat there the other day, and, like, all of a sudden, we're like, like what time is it? And he's like, 3.30. I'm like, I'm like, holy fuck, I'm going to bed, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Great conversation. Yeah, like, see you later. <laughs> see you in the morning. Yeah. I don't know, I don't, yeah, it's like those, I know the exact appeal you're talking about. Yeah. Right? It's like after the bar, getting back, yeah. enjoying yourself, and something about is. that. Yeah. Just like the the deep shit comes out. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. It's like it's always like something you would not talk about during the day. Uh huh. Yeah, no, that's cool. I guess it's it's kind of similar to this though. Like you just don't usually talk about like such a wide variety of things. Like ask someone else what their opinion is about it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a cool thing too. Like I was I say like if you ask like the same question to ten different people, you're gonna get ten different answers. Yeah. 
So like it's it's maybe like more like a more of like an objective thinker, yeah, and more uh, like I don't I don't like any any opinions or like viewpoints or beliefs I hold, yeah, I kind of hold them like pretty loosely, and I'm yeah. like I kind of have like the mentality of like almost like a student and like like yo prove oh, me sh- wrong, yeah, no, like, yeah, show me a better way or like show me why this is like I'll I'll start looking at it that way too, you absolutely, know? yeah. I mean, it's like a, a relatable thing that a lot of people can relate to. At least, is like yeah. it's like the gym bro that knows what he's talking about. You know, yeah. what I'm talking? it's like, no, bro, definitely. this is how it is, bro. Yeah, it's like, no, actually, <laughs> I found I found this way, and I got my weight up like twenty pounds, pa- yeah. dude. No, dude, dude, if you would have done it, it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you would have done it my way, bro, then yeah. you would have gotten up like thirty pounds. Yeah, exactly. Always better than you know something you don't. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, fuck those people. Yeah, I hate those <laughs> people. Yeah, no, dude. I'm always about finding a better way for something. Or if, like, honestly, if someone wants to do something different than me, I'm like, go for it. Do your thing. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like, uh, like this is what I found what works for me, but if you want to try that, you do yeah. you. Exactly. Now, what are your plans for the rest of the week? Uh, what do I have going You got on? any tests this week? Yeah, I got one test. Yeah, I got one on Tuesday. I feel like we're, we're at that point in the semester. Well, I guess it, you're doing the intercession classes. Yeah, so. I'm done after this. Yeah. So, yeah, you're probably on a different schedule, right? Honestly, it's kind of – I thought I was going to have, like, an exam already, but uh-huh. the first one's on Tuesday, so it's not oh, really? I feel like that's when everyone else's first one is. Yeah, same, same. Yeah. But it's a class called Production Economics, and my teacher's foreign. I have uh-huh. no, it's fucking, I have no idea. You told I, me about that the other night. No idea what he's talking about the whole entire time. Dude, I think there should be a 10% curve if you can't understand your yeah. teacher. Dude, he's literally just out there drawing graphs on the board, and he's just making all these fucking, I, I, don't, I don't even know what the hell he's talking about. And I think he's like, But his graph is so unorganized, uh-huh. he'll like use one graph the whole entire time. So you're like, I don't know what you're doing. Uh-huh. Yeah, he just like has all He just line. overlaps it? Yeah, like he'll erase like part of it, but there's like half the shit there. I'm like, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, do I need to make a new graph like in my notebook <laughs> yeah. is he just talking to talk just oh yeah to preach? yeah no idea what he's saying i'm just gonna youtube some stuff i guess on, on monday night <laughs> is that the same class you were telling me about it's like seven people in there or? yeah there's really seven of us and he'll be like he'll look at all of us and be like you good you're like we're all like fuck i guess yeah man just keep going do your thing like, <laughs> I, I, I guess i don't know yeah. he's my advisor too which he's a good advisor he's helped me out with a lot of classes and stuff like that uh-huh but, yeah he's getting me out of two of them otherwise i would have had to go on an extra semester so, oh no way yeah which just oh. one's replacing one of them so i'm like fuck i guess gotta try to do good it's like oh, yeah I'm, i'll try i've had i've had a class before though and he's he's one of those teachers that doesn't fail students like if you show up every day and you seem like you like half ass give a shit you know uh-huh. he's gonna give you like at least a c Okay, that's, that's huge. Yeah, that's no, huge. no one unless you don't show up, you're gonna get a DNF. Like that's uh-huh. all it cares about is you coming and making an effort. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, and that's that's how it should be. That's yeah, I feel like be. that's not like everything should be. You know, uh-huh. I mean, I mean, not like a job. Like you have to know what the fuck you're doing for that. Uh huh. But like, if you actually like kind of try, like you might as well. Like they should at least like give you a C. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like like I had an accounting class and I was like genuinely trying. Yeah, and I got like a, I think I got like a sixty seven in there. Yeah, I was like, dude, like I, I'm I'm trying. I just suck at it. Yeah, like, can like I, this, this is the one I'm going to school for. Yeah, uh, help me. <laughs> can I just can you just pass me, please? Yeah. I ended up being the teacher because I retook it and got – I think I got like a mid B or high B. And really? Like, I, I actually really understood the second time yeah. around. I was no, like, that's cool. wow, the teacher. Yeah. That's crazy how much the teacher affects it too. Yeah. Sometimes you think something's hard and you're like, oh, like just a better teacher literally made it like – I mean it was still difficult, but it's like way easier. Yeah, dude. I've never been good at math. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean I took – I had to start – college with i mean like pre-algebra you know like the one before you even just take college algebra uh-huh. and i i did that and then i tried taking algebra here and i really got a fucking d in it and i, I was like oh i really don't want to get a d and so i went to otc and we got an a plus yeah the, teacher it, just the made school it, yeah. yeah she just uh, dumbed it down and made it so much easier she's like yeah i'm not going to teach you all the stuff you're not going to use like i was like oh this is awesome i should have taken all my classes here that's sick yeah, yeah i would have saved a lot of money too that's actually I, I had a semester where I uh, I was embarrassed about it at the time, but it was it was that same semester I was telling you about where I lived alone. Yeah, and uh, I I actually failed out of most state or like got, I think I was yeah. an academic probation. I got like one F that semester, and then yeah. I think I got like a three O besides those. Mm-hmm. But like the one class fucked me enough to where I uh, I had to go to OTC for a semester. Dude, I wish I would have done it. And, and honestly, it was fucking cool. Like yeah. it it was one. It was way easier. Two, yeah, way easier. And, yeah, and two like it. Um, I don't know. I just felt like I, no, I felt like yeah. sit, like maybe it was just hitting that low point of like, damn, I just fell out yeah. of college, that, man. Wow, that, that definitely would have been a better move though. Is like coming to college because I didn't know anybody coming in here. Uh huh. Like rushed rushed a fraternity, made all your friends, and then just went to OTC for a there semester. you go. Fuck yeah, save save twenty grand. You know? <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, yeah that would have yeah. been yeah save money that semester. Absolutely. Too, so. Yeah, I probably would have done it for a whole year. 
Yeah. Yeah, actually, the, like most states got a good setup with like the like the community they, college all right next to here. Yeah, they all transfer over too. Like yes. I'm taking three classes there, just like you know some online ones. Uh-huh. Like I just like and it's so much cheaper. I'm like. I'll just save up before we even go there and be like, all right, here's a five hundred dollars for this class, and that's all it is. Uh-huh. And then I'm, it just goes right into my like school here. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And that's a cool thing too. Like you literally can ask them, hey, does this transfer to most state? Yeah, yes, it does. And you're like, okay, taking it. Yeah. yeah. Versus if you're taking and the majority it, majority of the time it's going to be a little bit easier too. Yeah, yeah. oh, hundred percent. Yeah, and and all their classes there. Well, I don't know how all of them are, but my class I think had twenty five kids in it, and those are just the classes you learn more. You know, mm-hmm. like the teacher knows all of your names. It's like kind of not being in high school again because it's harder. But yeah, so like that, it's like that same mentality you were talking about earlier. Like you just show up. But like you show up and you get a B at least. Yeah, cause, yeah. <laughs> you, you, like if you show up, you're gonna su- you're gonna retain some of the information, you know, unless uh-huh. you stare at your phone or computer the whole time. Absolutely. Yeah, which I've been, that's the thing I think too that's helped me in these past couple semesters. That like junior and senior year, I've made way better grades than I did freshman and sophomore, probably because I'm not going out and getting fucked up every night like we did back then. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, I just go to class and like I don't, I used to like sit in my sit in my class and just be on my computer the whole entire time. Uh-huh. And now I just sit there. I don't even take notes anymore. I'll just sit there and listen, you know? Okay. And, like, I've actually, like, I retain information, and, like, uh, but I don't feel like I ever want to use it. Okay, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I've, yeah, just, same, I've learned same. so much random shit about, like, cows and production, like, what for livestock. I'm like, I don't fucking need to know any of this. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's like, to... I guess it's good to know. Yeah, uh... yeah, if I ever have some cows one day. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's all, that, I, I was saying that before. That's kind of my conspiracy on, on school is just, like, they. I feel like they throw everything at you. And they're like, can you do this? Yeah, for four years and uh-huh. just get, make it through. That's kind of how a job is, though, too. You know, it's like I can do the work. I, I feel like it's just a set, like a weeding out process, or like yeah. a separation process. Yeah. That, uh, and it's like, okay, if you can get through this, then you're like more, we'll, we'll give you more value as a worker. Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. It's kind of, I, I mean, it's, it's probably not exactly like that, but I think that's the yeah. main underlying premise. Yeah, I feel like so many people get jobs that aren't in their major and stuff like that. Like, I'm an agriculture major, and I'm going to be an operations manager at a company, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, that's, like, not really. I mean, I guess it's for an agriculture company, but it's, like, not really related at all. But yeah, it's true. Not, it's not, like, anything I learned here. It's, like, golf courses and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, it's, like, grass seed. I don't know, any, I don't know anything about grass seed. <laughs> <laughs> But like if yeah. I mean if you know it's going to be your job like I'm convinced just with the internet you can, you can figure oh, it out yeah they're gonna teach me what to do absolutely yeah, yeah I'm not you going to yeah, yeah exactly yeah but you want you want to call us quits yeah I guess so. I kind of want to go watch Super Bowl and see the commercials there you go. yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. there you go. no dude thanks for having me on this yeah absolutely awesome. right? yeah, absolutely let's do, let's do this again sometime dude yeah absolutely we should we should bring some other people over here one night and drink some beers and we just talk about some weird shit dude I'm down I'm actually uh I'm getting this worked out but I have four of these I have yeah. four of these mic stands right. And uh, well, I guess you can kind of see the yeah. microphone. There's stands right there. But yeah. uh, so I, I can get four people down here. I just I need uh, so this is like the audio editing system. Uh huh. I just need to get a different one because this only supports two, two. at the moment. Okay. But yeah. dude, I, yeah, I would love to. Like honestly, I found I think three is my favorite. Yeah. Because like like three people, it, four would be a kind, one person's always going to be sitting there not talking. Absolutely. Like, yeah. And like especially if you get if you get like four people. And uh, everybody's really good at listening and not interrupting. It's yeah. a good time. It's like four, four is probably ideal in that situation. Yeah. But if you get like four people and like two of them are like aggressive talkers. And They're like, talk, constantly talking over you. Yes. Yeah. That that gets a little much. Yeah. No, I could definitely see that. Yeah. we. Uh, I say we do it after we go out one night, but that'd probably be a shit show. <laughs> well, we could do it before we go out. I've yeah, done that'd that. be, that's yeah. a lot of fun, yeah, honestly. Yeah, just drink some beers and talk about it. Absolutely. Yeah, we could even fucking sit here and take a break in the middle and play fucking quarters or hockey or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That'd be fun. All righty, dude. Cool. Well, yeah. Cool. I guess I'll – I used to push the button in there. I guess I'll just click, yeah. click a screen now. Yeah. It's a weird feeling. All right. One, two, three. Bye.